Well, restaurants have been some of the hardest hit businesses during the pandemic and with colder temperatures on the way, Channel 3's Elliot Polikoff shows us how local eateries are working to make sure they stay open through the winter. Eventually, it's going to get colder here in Connecticut. But when that day comes, local restaurants are doing their best to be ready for both the cold and COVID-19. Maybe this thing will drag out for another year or so. So we got to adapt to the new changes and try to survive. That means using tents, outdoor heating, and even igloos as alternatives to the traditional dining experience. People still want to be outside, so we're still trying to give them that safety net of being outside, but still covered and not worried about the winning. It's early, but the returns so far on these investments look to be positive. It's really nice. They've got it all set up really well, and um, it's comfy, and you know, you're outside, but have a lot of the comforts of inside. All the tents and outdoor heating, they were only supposed to be a temporary solution to deal with the cold. But after such positive reviews from customers, places like Eli Cannons are now thinking that now they're going to be a part of the long-term future. Obviously, no one's happy that the pandemic is still happening, but it's forced restaurants to reinvent themselves. And that's not always a bad thing. I think that we will be doing the tents every year. It's actually been very busy. Uh, this is probably one of the busiest years we've had. Now that we have a safe environment outside, we're getting more families than we did before. So in the post COVID is actually more a clientele that we're gaining because of it. Oh yeah, they're always uh, noticing the changes and uh, they're pretty happy with us because we're always trying to do whatever's best. That means on the outside with no plans for looking in. Ellie Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.